I have liked romance in the past. It's incredibly rare, but it can happen. Hello everyone, my name is Holly, and today I'm going to be sharing with you uh, my reading plans for February. I think I have chosen such an exciting stack of books here. I am pumped. I have five here, which doesn't sound like it leaves it open for me much to pick up like some other spur of the moment books for mood reading, or if something exciting falls on my lap later in the month, which definitely happened to be in January. <laughs> but I am in the middle of one book and a couple of them are on the shorter side so I feel like I can easily surpass five books especially if I continue my mandatory one page a day goal because that made me incredibly successful in January and I'm feeling really good with what I have chosen though I am taking a really big risk with one certain book. They are all upcoming releases by the way which I'm trying to prioritize this year. I'm really trying to be that professional reviewer that you guys can rely on. But before I show you guys what I'll be reading, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Ana Luisa. As you know, Valentine's Day is coming up fast, and if you are looking for the perfect item to gift someone special, or for yourself, especially for yourself, I say be your own Valentine this year. Ana Luisa is a New York-based company who create beautiful, sustainable jewelry with the earth in mind. They use recycled gold and silver to create all of their pieces. They avoid unnecessary mining and accept of markups and they sent me some pieces to show you today. Of course, since it's Valentine's Day, I have to show you this gold necklace that I'm wearing and it made my jaw drop when I saw it in person. I mean, look at this thing. It's huge. This is called Vera and I have the gold version clearly and my goodness, it is so pretty. Like if you want people to ask where you got that your necklace from, this is it. And it's going to look so lovely on anyone who wears it. Next is this ring that I'm wearing called Briar and just like the necklace, it is one heck of a statement ring. I mean, how much more bold can you get? Just a big 14k gold plated ring that is sure to turn heads. It's also very comfortable even with how big this emblem is. And lastly, I have this bracelet that I'm wearing called Sariaz and the design is so cool. It's called a paperclip design. It's very delicate looking and super cute. Honestly, it's a great stackable piece with other bracelets as well. So those are the pieces, but there are so many to choose from if you go to their website and shop their Valentine's Day sale. So go ahead and get yourself a little something. Give yourself some extra love this Valentine's Day by Click the link down below. Thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. Alrighty, let's go ahead and start this off by talking about my current read, and that is The Tainted Cup. I literally started it yesterday, so I can't give my opinion on it yet. I've had this book in my possession for a very long time, but with the release date just around the corner, I believe it releases on February 6th, I it finally feels time to dive in. In fact, one of you in my Discord said that you were currently reading it and was loving it, and I've heard from other reviewers that I follow that it is just so fun and addicting and apparently a little weird. It's been getting five stars across the board and I am ready for a new fine book by Robert Jackson Bennett. I loved his previous series with Foundry Side, so I expect to love this one too. It's the first book in the Shadow of the Leviathan series and it takes a detective mystery approach. That's all I really know about it and I'm enjoying going into it blind, so I'm excited to keep reading this. Next up is a very different book and that is Your Shadow Half Remains. This book is just calling to me. I just have to read it. It's being promoted as The Last of Us Meets Bird Box. Um, so it's a dystopian world where you can't make eye contact with anyone or it leads to you becoming very violent. I hope it takes a more unique approach and it's not just like a bird box copycat where bird box you literally had to wear a blindfold and if you even glimpsed at whatever it was outside some entity roaming around um you went violent so with this being specifically eye contact i would survive <laughs> i could survive that world for sure because eye contact is hard so if you just looked at someone's nose will you be okay if everyone just walked around naked would that solve the problem no one would make eye contact then see these are the questions i need answered so yeah if it's bad it's bad but i just need to give it a shot Follow me on Goodreads. That's where you'll see my rating first. So January had its star book for me, which was The Slain Divine by David Daglish. And now it's time for February star book. The Trials of Empire, which will also end one of my most beloved fantasy series. Actually, one of my most cherished books ever is this signed special edition arc of book one, The Justice of Kings. Came freaking signed. That Orbit surprised me with a few years ago. Like, could you imagine if I hated this book? <laughs> what a risk on their part. But thankfully, ended up being one of my favorite books of all time. But this is like some top-notch fantasy. This is the finale to the Empire of the Wolf series. It's a moody, 
medieval fantasy series with a bit of mystery and a eensy bit of horror as well, especially with book two, where we're introduced to some like eldritch shit. <laughs> we follow Sir Conrad von Walt, who is like detective slash justice giver during a period of strife and it's told in this memoir format through the eyes of his protege helena um i am dying to know how this ends book two opened up the world for us and now book three is closing in on the threat that the empire is facing i cannot wait before i move on to the book that i'm scared of i have a very exciting novella here i really enjoyed throwing in some shorter books in january so i want to do that again for this month and that is the cattails assassins it's around 200 pages so i know i'll be able to read it within two to three days so i feel it's a good one to slide in for the month though it doesn't release until april i believe but it's sitting on my kindle taunting me so i'm just giving in obviously this is about some guild of assassins who are deadly in an ancient fantasy city filled with gods or something i don't know it sounds amazing um the assassins guild itself is kind of giving dark brotherhood from the elder scrolls games and my goodness i hope that's the case i would kill for a book like that. Anyways, I believe our main character is dead technically and has no memory of her living self, but she's given a contract and forges an unlikely alliance with someone who she is supposed to help. And it like evokes a memory that she shouldn't have. I don't know, it sounds really cool and I'm, I'm really psyched about it. Okay, the last book that I want to read this month, I'm scared of, but I really want to give it a chance. Honey Witch, listen, I know this is very centered on romance. It's literally about a witch who is cursed to never find true love, but suddenly a woman arrives on the island who doesn't believe in magic and fireworks and smooches and probably woohoos. The whole shebang of romance probably happens. But there is something about this cover, this artwork, the vibe it's giving off just like scratches an itch in my brain that I didn't know I needed scratch and I need to give it a try. It looks so cozy and warm and lighthearted and hey, I have liked romance in the past. It's incredibly rare, but it can happen. And I will try to base my rating and review on the quality and not that, ew, it's a romance like I do any other time, okay? <laughs> Just hear me out. So it's a perfect time to subscribe to find out if this romance book flips a switch in my brain and I somehow become a romance girly. It could happen. Okay, so that's it. Those are some books I am going to be focusing on in February um, and I'm so excited about all of them. There are a couple other books I have on the back burner that I want to try and squeeze in, but I'm not going to mention them here just in case I don't, I don't want to get your hopes up. So again, look forward to my February wrap up. So please let me know down in the comments what you're going to be picking up this month. I would love to know. Um, before you go, don't forget to check out the Ana Luisa offer link down below for you. And until we meet again, happy reading.